Hi everyone! Today we're going to be going over how to make deposits using a Chase Bank bag. First, you're going to fill out the tear-off record on the top of the bag. Fill out the date, the amount of the deposit, and you can disregard that store number. Next, you're going to tear off the record that you've just filled out and place it to the side. First, fill out the customer name. You'll write Vanguard College. Then fill out the date that matches the paperwork on your sales reports. Next, you're gonna fill out the account number. That same number can be found on your deposit book that you'll fill out later. You're going to disregard store number. Then you're going to write the cash amount in the top box you're going to write the check amount in that middle box labeled bottom. Then add those two numbers up for the total on the bottom box. Now it's time to fill out your deposit slip. Go ahead and put the paper behind a white deposit ticket and a yellow one. Fill out the date. Write the amount of money under currency. That's the amount of cash. If you have any coins, go ahead and put that in the line under there. Write the check number to the left and the amount of the check to the right. And now add everything up at the bottom. There's two places that you need to put the total. Stamp all of your checks with the four deposit only stamp. Tear off the white deposit slip from the deposit book. Put all of your checks in the bottom part of the bag and the cash and deposit slip in the top part of the bag. Then tear off the strips from the top part of the bag and the bottom part of the bag so that you can go ahead and seal your bags shut. Now it's time to put your sales reports for the day in the sales report binder. Find the current date number in the binder, hole punch your sales report, and put the tear off record in the binder as well. If you have any receipts, these will go in the same spot. Now you can put your Chase Bank deposit bag away in the safe and go home for the night. The next morning, you're going to count your drawer to make sure that it's even. Make sure to get your accountability partner to count with you. Then, you're going to separate out some cash so that you can go to the bank and make change. Before you go, make sure to grab your Chase deposit bag from the night before and bring it to the bank. You'll give this to your teller whenever you give them the change that you need to be made. The teller is going to give you a receipt, and whenever you get back, you'll need to put this receipt right where you put all of the sales reports in the binder the night before.